Um, Lilith and Aries is, okay, so Lilith, alright, let's just start with Lilith real fast. If you haven't seen my initial video that I, I gave everyone a bit of a background on what Lilith is about, her backstory, and, and all that stuff, my interpretation of her, uh, we're now, um, li I'm going to preface everything I'm about to say by saying that Lilith, we're dealing with, excuse me. So, Lilith has to do with the shadow side, alright? So, we're not going to be talking about, like, good qualities and rainbows and sunshine and sunflowers and butterflies and stuff. Like, no, it's, we're, we're dealing with some really dark stuff. Lilith is extremely intense. You're going to want to look at where your Lilith is placed in your birth chart, where um, you are not willing to compromise your integrity or your values, You and you're actually you're going to be rejected or punished for it, okay? So it's it's very intense. So we're, we're going to be dealing with the dark side here, all right? So um, Lilith and Aries, uh, I mean, wow. Uh, this is, th this could be like one of the strongest placements for Lilith. I, I just find that it's energy here is very very unrestrained and very free-flowing. Lilith and Aries uh, will be doubly independent. Aries by itself is already a very independent sign to begin with. Lilith energy is going to be dealing with the very intense feelings and primal rage that may be brought up in dealing with uh, rejection, okay? So um, that coupled it, it, that being expressed through the sign of Aries, which has a tendency towards self-righteousness. Whoa, like Lilith energy here is like unstoppable. It, it makes a very powerful Lilith. If you have Lilith in Aries, it's ex extremely powerful. Lilith here is charismatic. She's mesmerizing and she truly sees herself as the wronged heroine in this story. The wronged uh, better yet, the wronged anti-heroine in the story. Lilith here will use her wiles by playing up her naivete, her purity, and her um, her innocence. Um, watch out for the purity in her rage, though. It really is all about her. So, you know, it, at its worst, you know, if you really see this, maybe, like, really badly aspected, this, you know, at its worst, you know, maybe you'll you see this energy being played out in like a narcissistic psychopath. But uh, to, to speak a little more on Aries, um, like about that, uh, it's, it's really like, you know, I think Aries gets a really bad rap for like being um, really self-absorbed. I think, you know, it's, it's kind of their birthright. Um, they're just doing what they do. And, and you know, it's, it is really going to be about them. They're the initiatory spark, you know, that first spark. So I like to imagine them as a dancing flame and they're just mesmerizing and just beautiful. They they inspire you. They're leaders. And Lilith is, is just, um, you know, I, I mean, you're, you're probably going to see uh, this, maybe someone with like a really strong Aries or, or maybe some Leo in their chart. You might find them monopolizing the conversation, but it's fun. They're going to capture your heart. They're so relatable and it's it's something in their in their honesty and um and their um 
they're just extremely trusting. So it, it is a, a really innocent energy. So that's like another way to look at Lilith. Um, this being played out in this sign, you know, maybe you'll find someone just being in, in a lot of, of trouble for something that they honestly would have never imagined like could have happened because you know you might just find someone feeling really misunderstood because they may have thought like well you know that was just like well of course i'm going to react in this way and i'm going to stand up for my beliefs and my values and like i can't believe i'm being faced through all these trials and, and tribulations over it you know and that it's just so controversial and stuff so this is probably what you'll find with a Lilith, Lilith and Aries person. Of course, you know, that'll change depending on whatever else is going on in your chart. All right, so um, that is my take on Lilith and Aries. I hope it was very informative for you guys. I thoroughly enjoy doing these. And look out for Lilith and Taurus next. Thank you. Bye.